Hey guys, it's Jungle Climber Ranger, and today I'm going to attempt to play the Power Rangers Ninja Storm Flash game. Now, I played it a couple of times just to get ready, but you know what? It's kind of tricky. I haven't actually gone past level 1 yet. There is, I think, about 10 different rounds or phases that you have to go through before you can actually pass a level, or I guess maybe even complete the game. I don't know if all 10 of those stages indicates that the game is completely over, or there's, you know, more levels. I don't know, but let's find out. Let's see what happens. Power Rangers Ninja Storm. You can see Shane right there with his weird blurry blue mouth. Let's play. The controls are pretty easy. It's just left, right, and up. In order to get in through the black hole, or like the, the door, you have to get all those lightning bolts. So yeah, okay, pretty easy, pretty easy. So yeah, 10 different stages. I don't know if that means the game is complete oh god that fire almost got me i don't know if that means the game is completely over or oh crap but we'll find out i mean i, I honestly think that might be the whole game itself but there could be more to the game than just the 10 stages okay it's funny the ladder i actually like the movement of this guy a lot better than the dino thunder flash game it's just, I don't know, it feels more fluid. It seems like they did a better job animating this. But the scenery in this is pretty simple. I think they had to compromise, I guess, the quality of the, the background and have a more, I don't know, a better looking player. While in the other game, it felt super, like, it felt more like a, oh crap, you got me. You know, this is what I hate about this. The, the blue fire shoots at you, like if that were a thing. Oh crap, crap, crap! <laughs> so pissed. Alright. So you see the red ranger helmets? Those uh, helmets are your life, so you have to make sure that those, uh, that you don't lose any of them. They're pretty hard to come by. Crap! Man, that blue fire- Ah! Oh, the heat! You know, sometimes the blue fire, the blue flame, will shoot at you twice. And I hate that. Like, what gives it the right to shoot twice? Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Well, I probably already lost this game. Yeah, I already lost. Oops. You need more practice. All right. I guess I'll just screw off. But you know what? Let's see what happens. Let's play as many times as I can. My goal is to at least get to stage 9. <laughs> if I can get to stage 9, I'll be content because I have not gotten there yet. Now, last time I was talking about some Jetic shows. One of them was Witch. And that was reminding me about the magical girl shows that we have in the states and in other countries that end up getting dubbed here and we end up watching it like I guess Miraculous is somewhat close to a magical girl show um, as well as Star vs. the Forces of Evil and that was one of my favorite shows on Disney XD um, it just ended so that kinda sucks but it ended pretty nicely it made me think after watching uh, the last episode of Star vs. the Forces of Evil I thought, well, man, we really don't have any more Magical Girl series in the U.S. We used to have um, the Winx Club, but that's Italian, and we don't get the dub here anymore from what I remember. There's a whole uh, video series I was watching on it, talking about Winx, and I'm like, oh, dang. Like, there's a lot of uh, weird red tape going on at the time. Crap, 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 crap! Oh, God, I'm practically dead. So, yeah, that's why we don't get Winx. Apparently, Winx was really uh, popular in Italy like this weird Disney status to it ah oh, crap and I'm, I'm and I'm dead again so I don't know if you guys are interested in this but there is some original tokusatsu being made in, in the states um, I, when I went to the convention to the, to the last convention I know I was talking when I met uh, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Cameron of Power Rangers Operation Overdrive the guy who played Tizon but there's also two other things that really interested me, interested me that day and it was two original tokusatsu projects one was called immortal red fox and the other one is the jammingers now what i think is really cool about each of them is maybe just like the quality and how you can see it's truly a labor of love the jammingers is done by deca mexican and some other group of people i think he has kevin the director recording or 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 doing the the videography or whatever I don't know, maybe the editing as well, I have no idea. But 
And I think the suits were made by him too. I'm not sure. But uh, it's a 30 minute episode that's on the Henshin Squad channel. And it's pretty decent. Uh, the action's really great. The way they choreographed everything was fine. The one thing I don't like that much, and I mean, people might not agree with me, but that's just me. I mean, the acting was very, ugh. I don't know, man. If it were my labor of love, I would have gotten actors, you know? I know a lot of them are cosplayers, but I don't know. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna try to make a top-notch project... Oh, I finally made it to stage 9! Oh my god, I finally did it! <laughs> can cry uh, anyways if you're gonna do a project I, I would just get actors or at least work on it because I think they worked more on <laughs> they worked more on uh, promoting the project which is not bad I mean they made 30 minutes worth of that ep of that ep of the first episode and that's really good I mean that's 10 minutes longer than a, an actual Power Ranger episode oh no <laughs> that's 10 minutes longer than an actual Power Ranger episode but I don't know I think if they just worked a little bit more on acting uh, I think it would have been perfect. Besides that, it's really good. So, I mean, the, the action is fine. The one thing that does suck is you can tell that they're hardly pulling any, they're hardly, you know, doing any punches. It's very, I feel like they're very safe about it. I know because I think most of them are doing their stunts, but also because the, the helmets are just, I think, 3D printed and it can only take so many jabs, so. That does suck. I wish they could have done more more fighting. Oh, but the other project I really... was probably um, another one of my favorites that I saw at Morph, uh, a Power Morphicon Express is Immortal Red Fox. Now, that is really cool. What they're doing is really weird where they're... It's, it's a show being done here in the States, but also kind of... It's a web show, like on YouTube, being done in the States but also being done like in Japan with, I think they have Japanese voice acting. Um, and it's being subbed in English and it's really cool. There's only two episodes out right now and they're really short. They're like three minutes and they're fun to watch. First one was okay, but the second one was really funny. Me and my group of friends, we got to talk to the people at Immortal Red Fox and they are so nice. Like you can tell it's something they're really passionate about. Uh, something that they really wanted to do and the way they promote it is almost like, you know, they're not just promoting it as like, this is what we're doing. They're promoting it as something like, oh, this is our baby. This is something like that we've like, you know, worked super hard on and this and that. And it was really cool. I bought their comic book. It was uh, a nice read. I liked it. Um, and there were two people dressed up as the main characters, Red Fox. And I think the other one is named Hyperspeed. I don't know. I could be wrong. I keep thinking Godspeed, like Kamen Rider Kabuto. <laughs> but no, I think it's... I don't know. I'll look it up later. But anyways, um, I'll put a link of those two short films, um, projects, Tokusatsu original projects, on on the, on the description below. Oh my god, sorry. I'm just really into this game right now. So, I was on this uh, Facebook group on... on on, uh, Facebook, on this Facebook Common Writer group. So this guy starts giving like paragraphs and paragraphs worth of his opinion on why Common Writers should, why a women should not be Common Writers. Like basically why they, uh, there shouldn't be any female Common Writers. And it's just, I don't know, the way he was saying is that uh, Common Writers should be for men because it's a masculine thing and girls already have their own thing like My Little Pony and things that are really <laughs> like really like feminine but for girls it's just i mean this is very outdated mentality where he's saying oh girls have their own thing i mean you wouldn't want to see a male wonder woman and i'm like <laughs> i don't know i think it was just so funny but that's not the funny part i mean because i just don't agree with it everyone has their own opinion it's fine i mean i just think that's not the point of what common writer is about but whatever I just thought it was funny that there was about like 300 and so comments of him getting roasted by everyone. Just absolutely roasted. And it was so funny. E even Zarin Zephyr got on it. Oh my god. It was so funny with something he said. I mean, I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything, but he said something along the lines of, along the lines of, of, of saying that he's glad he quit the fandom because everyone acts like a bunch of 8-year-olds. And then I, I, I told him this. I told him. Wow, I, I, I'll just put it right there on the corner of what I told him, it was just so funny. 
I don't know, I humor myself. And I don't hate the guy, I like his old videos. Um, I know a lot of my, um, mostly the big reason I follow him is because of Speed Razor Flubber. <laughs> Um, I miss I miss watching that youtuber and that's probably the holy reason I do tokusatsu videos uh, Is because of an old youtuber called speed racer flubber. He did a lot of funny common rider dubs back in the day and, and There was and they and then he stopped doing them and he even did like this short common rider double film that I could not find anywhere where he's a common where he's where he's basically plays Shotaro and 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 he does it like in some college or something and it's about like physics and I'm like what is this crap but I still remember it to this day. Oh my god, I, I kind of- I did it! I'm almost there. I'm almost there! Oh no! I'm, I'm dead. Last attempt. After this last attempt, I will quit because I'm just so frustrated with this dumb game. Luckily, it hasn't glitched as much as last time, but I'm also afraid of the glitch. I'm, o I'm always super close to that stage 9, and when I get there, I'm, I'm already on my last Red Ranger head. Oh god. It's kind of sad. It's both Red Rangers. Ninja Storm Red Ranger is, you know, he died. And then Wild Force is in jail. It's a, it's truly a shame. <laughs> Let me see. What if there's a, a Disney era curse? Where every Ranger involved in the Disney era, something bad happens. So maybe who's the next guy? The guy who plays Connor McKnight. Maybe something bad will happen. Ooh, I hope not. Like the Superman curse? Oh boy. But if something does happen, hey, I said it first. I don't want credit, I just want... I just want acknowledgement. <laughs> Wasn't that just credit? I, I joke. Oh uh, god, I just want to get through this dumb game. Next time I'll probably play the Mystic Force Flash game. There's, ac there's two Mystic Force Flash games that came out when I was younger. And, and they were, Let's see if I can just get through this. Okay, I have one Red Ranger head. Count them, one Red Ranger head. Oh yeah, if, uh, if uh, next time I can probably just play the... Gah, so close! <sighs> last time, last time on Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. <laughs> that show was so bad. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was, it was good and it was serious, but I think the one thing... That I hated about it the most was the the way they recorded the show. It was really grainy, like a really bad grain to it. I don't know. I'm not a film film guy. I don't know anything about film, but there's just this weird filter to that show. I mean, this isn't this isn't you know freaking Sin City. <laughs> I don't know. Super Robot Monkey Team, Happy Force Go! When you're fighting evil, that's a name you should know! Super Robot Monkey Team, Happy Force Go! Defeating every foe! This is the last time. If I die, I die. Oh no, I probably want that Red Ranger head. Oh crap. Guys, this, this might be it! This might be the one! But I'm losing two Red Ranger heads, so it probably isn't. Oh, I'm not. This is the one where I die. Okay, that's it. I'm done. That's it. I could not do it. I am a failure. I will acknowledge that. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Bye.